A common question type in the IELTS reading test is multiple choice. I'm sure you're familiar with this type of question. Basically, you need to read the text in order to answer a question or complete a sentence. You'll be given a choice of answers and you'll need to choose the one that is correct. There are a couple of variations of this task in the IELTS test and we'll look at both of them in this presentation. Let's look at our first example of this task now. On the left of the screen, there's an extract from a reading passage, and on the right of the screen, you'll see a multiple choice question. Check the instructions carefully. How many answers do you need to write? That's right, one, either A, B, C or D. The instructions also tell you to write the letter in the space next to question three on the answer sheet. Now let's read the question. It's a good idea to underline or circle keywords in the question. In this question, you're being asked about an experiment. So we can see that we're being asked to find out something that happened in the inconceivable event, but didn't happen in the conceivable event. We can use these keywords in the question to quickly find the section of the passage that we need to read carefully to find the answer. So now we look at the text and the keywords tell us that we're in the right place. Next, let's look at the question and the options again. Remember, we want to know what happened in the inconceivable event. Was it A? Did the object remain visible at all times? Think about what this means and how it could be paraphrased. So, to put it another way, could it be seen all the time? What about B? Was the object taken away? How could this be paraphrased? For example, a synonym for taken away is removed. Let's look at C. So it says that the flap didn't move. And D, it says that the object prevented the flap from closing. Hmm, I think B might be the answer. So now I'll go back to the text and check. You may need to read quite carefully at this point to make sure that you understand. Option B says that the object was secretly taken away. Let's check the text to see if it says something similar. And yes, it says here that the object had been removed. That is a paraphrase of taken away. And it also says that this was unseen by the infant. So that has a similar meaning to secretly. So B is the answer. Now if you have some time, it's a good idea at this point to quickly check the other options and make sure that they're wrong. For example, if we look at option A, it says that the object remained visible at all times. But if we look at the text, it says that at one point, the flap was blocking the object from view in both the conceivable and inconceivable events. So that means that A can't be right because the object was not visible at all times. We could check the other options in the same way. Then we can be sure that the answer is B and we can write this letter on the answer sheet. So let's recap what we know so far about the multiple choice question format. Now, there are actually two types of multiple choice questions in the IELTS reading test. In the first type, you have to choose one answer, labelled A, B, C or D, to answer a question or complete a sentence. That's the question type we've just looked at. In the second type, you have to choose more than one answer from a list of options. I'll show you an example of that in just a moment. When you write your answer, you only need to write the letter. Then, write your answer on the answer sheet, being careful to write it in the correct place. By the way, did you know that the questions are in text order? That means you might expect to find the answer for question number one near the beginning of the text, and the answer for question number two would come just after that, and so on. And finally, it's important to know that this question type tests several different reading skills. You need to be able to skim and scan the text quickly to find the answer, and then read that part more carefully to understand it fully. 
So now let's take a look at the other type of multiple choice question, choosing options from a list. On the left of the screen, there's an extract from a reading passage, and on the right of the screen, you'll see the questions and the options in a box. Let's take a closer look at the instructions. You'll see that in this task, you have to complete each sentence with an ending. There are three sentences, one to three, and five endings, A to E. Now let's look at the options. You can see that there are five options to choose from, so there are two extra options that you won't need. Then you follow the same procedure that we talked about earlier for doing multiple choice questions. Underline or circle key words in the question, then look for those words or similar words in the text to locate your answer. Look at the options and think about what they mean. Consider how they could be paraphrased. Match the option with the part in the text that you think has the same meaning. So, for example, for question number one, the correct answer is B. Once you've chosen your three answers, write them on your answer sheet, making sure that you write them in the correct place. So now that I have described how to do multiple choice questions to you, why don't you take some time to read over the summary? I should point out that this is one way to do this task which we think is effective, but it is not the only way. After that, I'm sure you're ready to do some practice to help you build some more skills around answering these questions.